Does he have change? I only uh, have 1,000. Uh, I'm not sure. I got, uh, I got 170 then. 170 lang bar yan yan, sir. 170 lang daw. Palag na yan. 170? <laughs> okay. Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye. Alright. Tarana, I think that's the word, right? Tarana? Ocean Park. Ocean Park, yes, sir. Alright, guys, we're back on the road. We're speaking to uh, my friends at the, uh, at the reception area. Super friendly. Every time I walk in, they're like, hey, how are you? And then, hello, brother, how are you? Good? <laughs> Kamusta ka, I think is the word for that. Kamusta ka. Um, but we are heading out today for. Oh, nice oh, hello. How are you? Good? <laughs> Man, I love the Philippines. The Philippines is great. Everyone's so friendly. It's amazing. Uh, but, as I was saying, we're heading out today because I have a few friends um, that are flying out today, actually. They've been in the Philippines for a while now. And, oh, hello. How are you? <laughs> is that a... Uh, an escort or what's a nice way to say hooker in this country? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> oh man. Um, I have a few friends. That it's their final day in uh, the Philippines. Luckily I arrived last night so I can catch up with them. You may know them. We hung out in Sri Lanka a little bit and they've been loving their time here. So uh, I, I understand why they've been loving it here and they have brought me here with them because it is an amazing country and I'm loving it. So. Anyways, let's go meet up with them and uh, yeah, we'll bring you along for the journey. Tarana. Just quickly, I'll comment on the uh, on the mechanics that we have here. So the one I caught earlier today, uh, it was like a spaceship. It was all tin and you kind of like were sitting down in like a bobsled kind of thing. But this is a little bit different. So I'm not sure actually what these are called, uh, but they kind of got the axles that are connected to the main frame of the bike here. It's all kind of like connected and you're sitting pretty low to the ground and whatnot and yeah it's kind of it's attached the motorbike pulls it along and uh, this is like a common form of transport here in the philippines or definitely in manila um they're everywhere like literally you'll be able to see them all the way around i almost just got my head clocked off by a car that's not what you want <laughs> but um yeah how do know let's do it we'll get to uh Meet my friends. Oh, the limos are back. The limo. Hello, hello. They're so cool. Limo. Oh, another limo. Another limo. <laughs> I gotta catch one of them later on. I'll just go onto one and just say, "Take me wherever you're going," and we'll go there. That is an incredible day. Let's do it. Oh, I have 190. There you go. Thank you. Good friend. Thank you very much, brother. Have a great day. Yeah, <laughs> enjoy. All right, guys, so apparently they're staying at Hotel H2O, but how on earth, earth do you get in there? Um, so we're going to have to walk around and see what's going on. What are they doing? Everyone's, uh, are they army military people? You never want to film when there's army people around. How do I get, how do I get in? Oh, look at this guy. He's selling, he's selling fruit on the side of the road. Hello, brother. Ah, uh, what do you have? You have pineapple, watermelon, what is this? What is that? I will have, um, I'll get some pineapple please. Pineapple. Let's see how he does it. So he grabs it. How much? Peso? 30. 30 peso. All right, so he cuts out the middle there, chops it all up. You can put on stick is okay. So that's it. Done. Okay. Maybe I'll also get some uh, watermelon, please. Seems pretty cool. So he chops it off like that. This is 30 peso as well. All right. Very good. Oh, he's chopping it through the bag. Very good. Very good. Oh, I forgot about this. I don't. I only have uh, 1,000 pesos change. Thank you very much, brother. Unfortunately, I don't have any change. But I do have. Do you have change? Is okay? No change? Okay, you keep. That's fine. For you. Thank See. you. Have a good day. Okay. Hopefully, it's yes, the best, best pineapple I've ever
Hello, brother. How are you? Oh, I wish I had cigarettes. No. I only have pineapple and uh, watermelon. You want some? No. Only cigarettes you want. All right, guys. Well, we just paid 20 bucks for this, basically. <laughs> but it's a hot day here in Manila, so we're going to have to try it out. We got some construction going on. Hey, brother. What's up? How are you guys? You guys are building. Very good. Amazing story. Huh? Of course not. Oh, construction. Everybody's coming in. Hang on, I need to do a I need to do a pineapple review test. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Australia. Hey, where are you going? Hey, you want you want some pineapple? Yes. You want some? Yes. Here, this is for you. No, no. Hang on. I put you in my vlog. Oh, Alright, who wants pineapple? Pineapple for everybody. Oh! Pineapple. Who else wants some pineapple? Pineapple. Oh, here. Alright, I'll try this one. You guys can have the rest here. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm going for a walk. I'm going to go meet my friends. But I need to eat the pineapple first. Alright. So I don't know if you can see, but there's all that water right there. I just trod into it. Alright, let's try this pineapple. Oh my god! That's the best pineapple I've ever had. I wish I didn't give it away. That is so sweet. Man. That was definitely worth the 20 bucks that I paid for it. That is... My name is Luke. 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 Yeah, on YouTube. Thank you. You will subscribe, like, yeah. notifications on. <laughs> These guys are legends. Do you guys get paid if you're not working? Yes. Alright. Number two. I got watermelon as well. I'll try I'll try some watermelon and then we'll give it away. We'll quickly try. Honestly though, that pineapple was damn good. It's so uh, sweet, so refreshing on a hot day here in Manila. Yeah. Delicious Oh my god. How do you say how do you say delicious? Delicious. In uh in sweet. Very good. Where are you from? I'm from Australia. Australia? Very nice. Do you guys want some watermelon as well? <laughs> there you go. Thank you, my friend. What's your name? My name is Luke. Robbie. 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 R A W B I T. Very nice to meet you, Robbie. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Do you smoke? No, I do not have cigarettes, unfortunately not. But uh, I'll bring back some cigarettes, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye bye. Enjoy your day. <laughs> See you. Oh my god. Look, it's three Tarzan horsies. Kidna, kidna. Three Tarzan, three Tarzan. <laughs> oh man, guys, this is what I love about the Philippines. Is you just walk out, people are energetic, people are friendly. Man, that is uh, incredible. I really need to start uh, walking around with smaller notes though. Can't be paying $20 for a bit of pineapple, you know? But we are gonna be meeting our friends quickly. Let's do it. All right guys, so I found the entrance. Uh, it was like 100 meters up from where those uh, construction workers were that we were eating pineapples with, but here it is. So this is a hotel H2O. I know Ali and his friend are staying here, but it's also like connected to like a marine park, so like an, uh, an aquarium. So I think they were like filming a video here or something. I'm just here to uh, link up with them and then we'll head out for the day. But yeah, this is like what it is. You got the hotel there, and then you got the, where you buy tickets and stuff. And then like tickets for the aquarium on the right side and then the hotel entrance is on the left. So maybe we'll come back here. 620 for a ticket. You get all kinds of uh, different tickets and whatnot. Ali Machan. How are you, brother? You good? Oh, good time. Nice to see you. Good to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Oh, look at this guy. He's got a cart and he's just like roaming around the streets. 
I need like a hat or something. I've had this hat for a while. Hey brother, how are you? Good? Good. Fine. What do you have for sale? We got uh, different kinds of things. We got gloves. There's no four-finger gloves for my blown up hand. <laughs> um, but what can we buy? What do I need? Let's have a peek around on this side, see what there is. Oh, look at this, you got mirrors and whatnot. Tricycle, sir. Hey? Tricycle. Ah, for tricycle, huh? Oh yeah, we got like the stuff for the motorbikes and whatnot. I don't know what these are. What is this for? Oh, a mask. Alright, let's have a peek at these, see what... We got all kinds of ones. Wow. <laughs> this is such like a, just a random miscellaneous store. Yeah, I will um, have a look. Oh, look, Gucci. Look at this. I'll try on the Gucci one. Let's try this on. You wear it like this? Like this is ah, oh, like at the back. Ah, oh, up, up on the ears. Oh, I think this is to like stop the sun hitting the back of your neck, and then it's also used as like a face mask. You know, they're very strict on uh, masks here in the Philippines. So let's uh, oh, oh. look at this Gucci. How much, brother? Fifty. Fifty. Oh, again, I don't have any change. We'll see. Oh, you have arm sleeves. Oh, do you have Gucci? Yes, Gucci, you have? Ah, no more there. Like this, right there. Red, green, green, green club. Oh, yeah, green. I tried the green one on. What is it for? Sun protection? Yes, any country just on the side of the street you get uh all these like things that cover up keep you safe from the sun it is hot i'm sweating so much but good looking good oh i got it i got it on the wrong way all right let's put on the gucci one as well So how much are these? 50-50 50-50 You can do a discount for me? You can do lower price? 40 40 Oh, maybe like 20? Huh? No No um, But like you can do 40? 40 for two? Or 40 each? 40 each Each Oh, okay 80 Oh, again, I don't have change Do you have change? No more change? No change? Here, we'll see Oh, that's okay. Here you have. It's okay. For you. Take it. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Have a Thank great day. <laughs> Alright. I really need to get changed because I'm spending literally 20 USD on every single thing I buy now. It's crazy. We're fully kitted out. We got the uh, the bandana. I got some uh, um, arm sleeves, which are super cool. They'll keep us protected from the sun. Uh, but as I was saying before, we met up. With Ali Machan. Subo Desana Machan. Komada. The good old Sri Lanka days, eh? <laughs> oh man. We had a fun time there. Yeah. And then uh, to the right, we have Danny, got a world to see. So I actually nice. have been watching his videos since before I was a vlogger. Like one, when I was like 17, 18, I'd finish high school and would be like, oh, all right, I need to get myself a travel fix. So, uh, hey. I was got, already got homeless into... around the world, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys have been in the Philippines for like over a month, almost yeah, a month. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, tonight's gonna be a month. 
Yeah. But you're flying out today? Yep. Damn. What's the uh, number one place you've visited in the Philippines so far? Palawan? Yeah, I would El Nido. say El Nido. El Nido? Yeah. El Nido. That's what everybody uh, says. El Nido is like one of the most famous places. Hopefully we'll be able to make it out there um, sometime during this trip. But we're going to explore the rest of the day, see what comes around. It's a beautiful day here in Manila. Blue skies, a little bit hot, but nonetheless, it's a great time out here. All right, guys, we are in SM Mall, the biggest mall in all of Asia. We got Ali Machan. What's the Machan word here in our uh, Philippines? Akuya. Akuya. Ali Akuya. Um, but we're just roaming around, doing a bit of shopping, running a bit of errands. And I think shortly we'll head over to Jolly Bees and eat Jolly Bees for the very first time. Heard amazing things like that uh, about Jolly Bees. And I am damn hungry, so I know it's going to be absolutely amazing. But this is the mall. Got all like, you know, back on the other side, we saw, all, you know, the classic designer uh, places, H&M, whatnot, uh, all the major global brands because it is the biggest mall in all of Asia. So all the brands are trying to get a, a spot in here, get a bit of real estate. Um, but it's really nice. Just all these cool little oh, cold stone creamery. Look at this. Super premium, 148. For the camera house. All these beautiful um, shops and whatnot. Adidas, Nike, Fila and whatnot. But we're going to roam around for a little bit. Oh, even a Burger King. How good. Um, but yeah, we'll head over to Jollibee's in a minute after we do a bit of shopping. Look at this guys, the cinema, and they have <laughs> literally, what are these things called? I literally forgot, the Star Wars, right? They're full like kitted out. Oh, Stormtroopers, that's right. What's up, Machan? No, he's not a Machan. We're not in Sri Lanka. This is sick. <laughs> Anyways, gotta catch up with, oh, you're there. There's a Hulk as well. There's a Hulk? Yeah, yeah. Where? Right there. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is so cool. I love the cinema. Dude, that is so big. And we got Hulk over here. Oh my god. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Ali Machan. <laughs> Look, he's even got the bicep veins as well. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> What's up, my man? <laughs> Damn, that was big. Jolly Bees, everybody. Good afternoon, Mrs. Jolly Bee. All right. Hello. Wow, it is so busy. That's how you know that the food is good. And if I've heard what I've heard from people here in the Philippines, Jolly Bees is a religion here. They absolutely love it. So we're going to taste uh, a couple of the items today with all the people lining up. You've eaten here before. Oh, and you yeah. said the Jolly Spaghetti is the best thing uh, on the menu, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've heard good things about the Jolly Spaghetti. We've got burgers. It's basically like the McDonald's here in the Philippines. So we're going to try a few things out. Definitely try the spaghetti, which I've heard uh, is one of the most like iconic dishes. And you can see some spaghetti being served up over there. So, all right, well, let's line up. Let's order. And um, we'll give it a taste test. So we can see all the food being prepared here. These ones are serving those customers. So you order here. I love the outfits. Red, all got the same cap on. Got the aprons. Uh, oh man, I'm so hungry. I'm so excited. So excited to eat. I reckon we're going to go for the cheesy yam burger. We'll get that in a meal. And of course on the side we'll get some Jolly Spaghetti. The Jolly Spaghetti looks goddamn amazing. And you can even get burger steaks, you can get apple pies, chicken on the side, crispy chicken. Will you have some chicken if I order it? Of course, man. <laughs> Is that, that's the dumbest question I've ever asked in my life. And in that top of chicken, I'll take Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well, there's so many options to choose from. I reckon we're just going to have to uh, ask what's best and see what they provide us. But look at all the food here. That's the spaghetti there. Oh, it smells so good. Hello. Can I please get a... Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah, can I please have a, um, a cheesy yam burger, please? One table six, um, Dining or takeout? Uh, we have here, ta uh, dining. Also, the jolly spaghetti, please. Cheesy yam burger? Yes. How many, sir? Just one, thank you. 
What's the drink, sir? Uh, just Coca-Cola. Thanks. Any additional, sir? Sorry? Any additional? No. Order? No, thank you. Uh, and I also get the uh, the jolly spaghetti, please. A la carte, solo order, sir. Sorry. Sol solo order or half drinks. Uh, solo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm understanding the process here. Um, and I'll, then also just uh, one piece of chicken uh, wing. Thank you. Spicy or original? Uh, yeah, we'll go spicy. Spicy. Yes, please. What's the drink? Coca-Cola. Candy double check, please. Oh, that's all, thank you. 277. Thank you very much. Do you have 500 here? Uh, oh, actually, I have that. Thank you. I received 300 pesos. All right, here's what we got, guys. The cheesy hamburger, the chicken joy, with some other stuff and a spaghetti. So, 277 pesos around. Uh, thank you so much. Awesome, thank you. What did you order? Just a little cheeky chicken. Cheeky bit of chicken. I like I like the sound of it. So, 277 pesos. That's around uh, like $5.50 US or thereabouts. So, pretty good. I got a fair bit of stuff. Got the cheeseburger, the spaghetti, some chicken, some other stuff. Uh, so that's actually pretty good value for money. All right, look guys, two two zero zero eight now serving. Where am I? This one. This is for me. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. I know, John. All right. We got all the food. Oh, we got more burgers. Thank you. Hey, I, I got a lot of food. That I didn't. Remember ordering. Thank you. I forgot my fork. But here we have it, guys. Jolly bees. So, here's what I ordered. We got the cheeseburger yam burger. We got the uh, the Jolly Bee spaghetti, which uh, ooh, that smells pretty good. Fries. We got spicy chicken. And I believe that's rice on the side there. So that explains why I thought we had two burgers, but that's just rice in the middle there. So. Let's open this up and we'll get right into it. I think we'll go cheeseburger, we'll taste the fries, we'll eat the, uh, the chicken in, and of course, we'll leave the famous uh, spaghetti down for the last of it. So I am damn hungry, so I know this is gonna be a good meal. Let's do it. I'm super thirsty, so let's give the uh, Coke or Pepsi, whatever it is. Mm. All right, we gotta get a subscriber quickly. Search the man. Like and subscribe, as always. That is me there. Like and subscribe. Thank you. All right, let's get the uh, the Jolly Bees video underway, everybody. I've been waiting years to say this, but finally we're having Jolly Bees. We got the yam burger, the cheesy yam burger, in the middle, patty, cheese, special sauce on top. And let's give it a big old bite. Oh yeah. That is good. Ma'am. Can I take your picture? Yeah, we get a photo together. Jolly Bees review with some beautiful women. Doesn't get any better than that. But this burger is good. Kind of your typical like fast food burger. You got soft, sugary bun, you got the secret sauce in the middle, patty, and then of course some cheese. So I reckon that that's a yeah, it's good. It's kind of what you'd expect from a fast food joint like this. Uh, it gets the job done. Let's try some chippies here. Get a um, big mouthful of these. Mm. Very good. Chips, a little bit cold. But when you're serving this many customers, you know, you gotta have an excess of fries on the uh, on the side, ready to go. Because you don't want to be waiting 10 minutes for fries when you can just have them here, mediocre. But let's wash it down with a bit of drink. Perfect way to 
combat the Manila sun here in the Philippines. Now, I opted for the spicy version of this. We're gonna see in about five seconds whether that was a regret or if that was a smart move, but let's try the chicken here. Add Jolly Bees, get a big old fatty bite. I wonder if there's bone in there. I wonder if it's a wing or, oh yeah, there's definitely bone in the middle. So let's get a big bite. Not spicy yet. It could be a slow burner though. It's super juicy. Super soft chicken. The outside, super crispy as you can see. It's kind of like crumbling off. Oh, it's squirting everywhere as well, bloody hell. Mm. It's not as spicy as I was expecting, you know? I'm used to saying like, in places like India or Pakistan or Sri Lanka, when they say spicy, they mean like, your mouth is literally in a lava, lava pit. So this is actually manageable. So it's good that the Philippines, you know, their spicy levels are uh, manageable for a foreigner like me, but... That's good. Let's get on to the last part of the review here. We got the spaghetti. Little bits of spaghetti. I think we got tomato sauce in there. Let's mix it all up. Ali was saying before, you said that it was kind of sweet, right? It's, it's sweet. sweet. Right. Well, let's see. Uh, oh, I love spaghetti, so this is going to be really good. Review here. Interesting smell. Kind of smells a bit spicy. But. Oh, yeah. The sauce is super sweet. It's like a. Oh, there's even a sausage in the middle. Oh, that's it. I actually really like the, um, the, the sugary kind of sauce on it. So it's like a, a little kid's meal, you know? I'm a fan of that, honestly. If I had to rank them, I'd go, the chicken wing's really good, it's not spicy at all. Burger's good as well, and the spaghetti's really good as well. Fries, least favorite, because they're cold. But the chicken wing, really nice chicken. And uh, the spaghetti, a pleasant surprise. You know, when you think of spaghetti, you think of something more like savory, whereas this is actually like a sweet, um, a sweet bit of sauce in the spaghetti, which gives it a whole different kind of flavor. All right, we finished off the chicken. We slammed one of the Cokes here. It's really cool how they just have like their logo and everything. Um, like, I'm not actually sure whether it's Coca-Cola or Pepsi or what it is, but it tastes damn good. Um, French fries, slowly getting through, they're a bit cold, so not the biggest fan of them. And uh, we're finishing up with the spaghetti, but I did realize just then that I forgot to eat whatever was in here. So the chicken comes with like rice, right? I don't know if it's like sweet rice or like what it is, but just a big block of rice right there. I think we got like some kind of sauce or gravy there, but I'll just try this like plain rice. I'll get a bit of the seasoning or the sauce from the, uh, the spaghetti. Oh. If I get more sauce on that, maybe we'll mix it all together. Get some spaghetti, twirl it onto the fork like that. Get a bit of this, boom. We got the, the rice spaghetti Jollibee mix. Well, not, not anymore, but. Oh, it's good. I like it with the sauce. Let's add more. More spaghetti to my rice. Now I've just absolutely destroyed this thing. Ow. It's okay. I approve. I approve. You know, I feel like obviously McDonald's is here in the other Philippines as well, but most people opt for Jollibee's. I remember being in Dubai, obviously there's a massive like Filipino uh, population working over there. Um, so I've seen Jollibee's so many times around the world. And um, it's good to finally now say that I've eaten at Jollibee's and it's been a pleasant experience. 
I approve. If you get everything, you get spaghetti, you get french fries, you get the sauce, and you get the rice. That's what I had. And then you eat it all at once. Oh, that'd be good. That's good. The french fries give a unique, um, when they're on the plate and not on my lap, they give a unique texture to it. It is difficult to eat though. That's the triple carbohydrate special, huh? Exactly. That's when you're trying to put on muscle mass. Oh. I approve. <laughs> Thank you. All right, well that was Jollibee's complete. And I think I found uh, one of my new favorite fast food chains in the world. So definitely, I can guarantee I'll be back here. Uh, over the next couple weeks I'm traveling around the Philippines, but just look at look how cute that mannequin is It's just like it's way it looks way more better than uh, Ronald McDonald Ronald McDonald's low-key creepy, but this one <laughs> you just want to go hug it It's just like the most incredible uh, feature and figuring out there I've seen so many videos of this here in the Philippines. They have like all these ice um, You know ice creams and, and whatnot. So this looks like the coolest thing ever. Hey brother. How are you? Um, you only have one type or? <clears throat> oh, it's up there. Hawaiian shaved ice. Which one is the best one? The rainbow, sir. The rainbow shaved ice. The rainbow, yeah, that yes. one looks good. You have different sizes or? What do you think of them? Only small, sir. Only small. And it, it, you shave it here? Yes. So I can see everything? Yeah. Alright. Sure. Hey, brother. Hey, How are you? Going? You doing good? Yeah, I'm good. I want one of your famous rainbow shaved ice, please. Uh -huh. With the snow cap. Yes. With everything, I want everything. I want it to make look, make it look beautiful. Yeah. How much is it? Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Well, that's good. We got seventy. There you go. You can keep the change. Oh, thank you. Oh, they, what is this one? You have this one as well. Yes, similar to ice cream. Similar to ice cream. That's cool. It's a flavored, flavored ice. Flavored ice. Okay. Well, yeah. I'll just have the. Uh, the rainbow one, please. All right, let's see how these are made. So it goes in the back there. The ice cream. Yes, we have ice cream. Very good. Ice cream, the uh, ice cream in the middle. Yeah, no. Okay. All right, so that's that done. And then he goes around to the other side. I think he's gonna. Oh, here's all the. Oh. Oh, shaped ice. Oh, that looks so cool. Lock it in, and then that blade. Probably gets it all off. Oh, that's awesome. It's like snow. Snowing. Shave the ice. What's your name? Clark. Sorry? Clark. Clark. Yes. Very good. Oh, they, there's so much. Yeah. <laughs> I did not expect this. Look at that. It's like a whole snow mountain on top how long have you been working here for 11 11 years yes wow so you're the the ice expert <laughs> <laughs> expert in ice <laughs> all right so he's kind of patted it down a little bit made it into like the perfect little ball so these are all the flavors yes so we got what, we what? watermelon watermelon blueberry blueberry and banana flavor. and banana so now it is a rainbow. Yes. Oh. We have sweet milk. Sweet milk. Yes. Oh, nice. And that's us done. Done. Thank you, sir. Amazing. No, thank you very much. I'll give it a review. Yeah. All right. Let's go back to the boys. How cool does this look? Oh. The rainbow iced. We got like sweet milk in the middle. We got flavored ice. I think this one was blueberry. Um, but let's just try it all. Let's get a bit of purple, a bit of yellow. Bit of red in there if we can. Oh, it's super hard. All right, here we go. Wow. I think, yeah, the sweet milk. I don't know if you've ever had these guys at home, but in Australia we have these like little lollies that are bananas and they're like yellow. They taste exactly like the, uh, the sweet milk that you just put on top of it. Oh, it makes sense because the yellow one 
he said was banana flavor as well. <laughs> that is good. And it's only, it was just over, it was 65 pesos, so like a dollar, a dollar 20. Right. At the bottom, we got ice cream as well. So once you get through all the flavored ice and whatnot, you get your uh, different flavors, you get blueberry. Nice. <laughs> you get uh, watermelon. And um, down in the very bottom, you can see. I'm starting to get through to the actual ice cream as well. Oh man. You know, Manila is, is a bloody hot day today. The boys were saying that it's one of the hottest days that they've had here. Um, it's nothing compared to other places in like the Middle East and stuff. But for Manila, it's pretty hot. So this is the perfect snack that you can have to combat the heat here in Manila. And there we go. Bit of vanilla ice cream. 10 out of 10. That is delicious. Oh ho. Oh yeah. All right, you can see now that we're getting through all the ice bit, how creamy the bottom is because you put that big bit of vanilla uh, ice cream on, on the bottom. So you get through the ice and then you kind of have it all blending in. It's just like such a unique flavor of like vanilla creaminess, icy flavors of banana, blueberry, watermelon and whatnot. But, mm. oh look, the second best fast food joint in all the Philippines behind Jollibee's. All right, we're coming down to the last little bits here. Look at that, big bit of ice cream. Oh, brain freeze. That was a big bit. But look, it's all like turning into liquid now. So after you have the, um, the, the solid state that the ice was in, it's now like a little smoothie. Oh God, again, another. Oh, another fatty old brain freeze coming right off. All right, last little gulp here. There we are, a little bit left. Video done. Thanks for watching. Oh my god. <laughs>